Today, I am going to be rebuilding Chelsea from FIFA 14 all the way to FC 24. We're going to start this rebuild in FIFA 14 with Chelsea, with this old retro team. Still with Lampard, still with a young Edin Hazard and even Oscar before he buggered off to China for the money. We're going to sign and sell players and at the end of FIFA 14, that same team is going to be transferred over to FIFA 15. Going all the way to FC 24, lads, you know the drill. And if you don't know the drill, be sure to like and subscribe. But let's get started, lads. You've seen the starting 11. Even on the bench, there are some pretty insane names like, oh, Azpilicueta before he really took off in overall. Kevin De Bruyne before he just took off to Wolfsburg. Can't help but feel like I'm going to be hanging on to Kevin De Bruyne a bit longer than Chelsea did in real life. Fernando Torres. Oh, at Chelsea. God, wasn't that, an, that wasn't that a fun time. I might be able to give him a slightly better time at Chelsea. You know, blokes like Nathan Ake for crying out loud and who are, what, Ruben Loftus-Cheek at the, what, at a 56 overall. First thing I'm going to do is actually bring back some players that Chelsea have loaned away. The first one is Romelu Lukaku. God, when it comes to Chelsea, he just can't quite ever seem to figure it out, but very tempting to hold on to him for a long time. And another player that's loaned away is Thibaut Courtois. Wow, you're telling me this team's going to have Czech and Courtois right out the gates. You better believe it. We're bringing him back. I'm going to transfer list a ton of players that I would like to get rid of. I mean, look, there are 40 bloody players in this squad right now. And with a starting 11 as solid as this, I might actually wait a bit before making any big signings. Let's let some players go and then see what we need. Guys like Demba Bar. I love Demba Bar. I'm a Newcastle fan but uh, we can probably let him slide. An older Michael Essien, maybe we can let go too. Petr Cech, look, I'm, I'm hanging on to him until Courtois eventually overtakes his overall, and that might not take long. And a nearly 30 Fernando Torres. God, what do I do with him? Do I keep him or do I let him go straight away, knowing that he did not have a great time at Chelsea? Look, let's see if I can get some insane money for him, and then maybe. Wolfsburg are willing to give us basically double his value. Almost double his value. Look, oh man. This might not be super popular, or it might be popular. I have literally no idea how well Chelsea fans receive Fernando Torres. Is that goal against Barcelona all it takes to like him? But look, I have plans. Trust me, I'm cooking. Torres is gone, and so too is Demba Bar. Lukaku and Eto are our only strikers now, but don't worry, I will make a signing. How does Robert Lewandowski sound? Yeah, we're going to go for him, 31 million, and he's in the last year of his contract. That might mean we can get him cheap. Oh, hell yeah, we can get him for less than his value. Dude, that's sick. He accepts the contract. Oh my God, what a get this is. We have just signed a man that will surely be our number nine almost this whole rebuild. Out goes Samuel Eto'o and in goes Robert Lewandowski. A huge signing this and a mainstay surely in the team. The rest of the starting 11, the weak links, as always, it always seems to be the right back. Ivanovic, but he's still pretty good at 80. We could maybe do better than Ramirez, uh, but like even he was pretty decent for this Chelsea team. Now, what do we do with Frank Lampard? Being 35, aging, probably not going to be playing much longer, but his career didn't end great in, in a, from a Chelsea perspective, leaving them coming back to the Premier League and scoring against them for Man City. I want to try to avoid that, but we do need to replace him. Maybe not straight away, but I'll make a signing for the future. You know, he's only a million pounds. No one's heard of him before, but James Ward-Prowse. I like it. I might go for him. I heard this kid's pretty solid at free kicks, so you know what? I'm going to play quadruple for it. Four million pounds for James Ward-Prowse. I know it's it's a total ripoff. <clears throat> Not for me, though. Currently, I only have one left back in the whole team after getting a bit maybe too trigger happy with letting players go. Yes, it is Ashley Cole, but 32-year-old Ashley Cole, I might want to look to get someone else in there. In fact, I'm even going to make two. We're going to go for Luke Shaw here from Southampton, 18-year-old. Yeah, you know, get a nice young English talent in. And the other one, from the depths of the Spanish second division, I'm going for Grimaldo here. This is when Barcelona's youth was just going mad, and something tells me this lad might also be quite decent in the future. So Grimaldo signs for a cheeky one million. We'll see if he can worm his way into the starting 11 in the future. Or could it be this man instead, Luke Shaw, who we're snagging off of Manchester United? Two backup left backs now then in the reserves, and technically, if you count Nathan Ake, yeah, that is also another one. This Chelsea team is going to be a problem for other teams in the future, but what about right now? Hot off the back of winning a Champions League, Chelsea finished third the following Premier League season. They won no silverware. What can we do? As in real life, we do the same. Chelsea come in third place, pretty close to winning the league in our first season. No Champions League, sadly dumped out in the semi-finals by Bayern. They get their revenge, but we have made an FA Cup, so hopefully we can start this rebuild with some sort of trophy. Can we snag trophy number one in what will hopefully be a big haul of silverware in this rebuild? It's a pretty damn iconic Chelsea team and we've only just gone and added Lewandowski into it. And Robert does get the game rolling and underway. Lampard, oh brilliant, lovely ball in. I can see a man on, crossed in by Lampard and headed home! Is that Oscar? Ashley Cole into Lampard and of all people, 
Oscar, the man that I'm going to try to keep at Chelsea way longer than he really stayed. Let's find out what would have happened if this lad didn't bugger off to China. Oh, chance on here, Lampard! Frank Lampard with a rocket! Oh, Lampard, what a strike! Skirtle nearly getting in the way, but no, this is the Frank Lampard I remember. What a goal that is from the captain. Oh, it keeps getting better! Oh my, it sat for Oscar. What a hit, son. That's better than his last, obviously. Oh dear. It's Suarez to get one back for Liverpool. Oh, well, we can end it right here. Right here with a goal from Robert Lewandowski. The man who will surely be our number nine in that Chelsea shirt for pretty much the whole rebuild. And trophy number one is one and done. That is lovely. Hopefully the start of plenty and plenty of silverware in this Chelsea rebuild. The captain, John Terry, to lift it up. It is the FA Cup, the first one of the rebuild. Hopefully not the last. And hopefully there are plenty of Champions Leagues and Premier Leagues to go along with it. Offloaded a ton of players, a crazy amount of departures. This is Chelsea after all. Brought in some great players too. There's your current starting 11 of Chelsea. Here are your substitutes with some brilliant players lying in wait. Here are your reserves as well with some good young players too waiting. Let's take this exact same Chelsea team over with us to FIFA 15. In this season, Chelsea sold, and God damn it, strap yourselves in. David Luiz, Romelu Lukaku, Andre Schürrler, Fernando Torres, Denver Bar, Samuel Eto, Ashley Colt, Frank Lampard left, and they brought in players like Diego Costa, Juan Cuadrado, Felipe Luiz, Loic Remy. Chelsea really have always been making like 50 transfers a window. They also brought in Cesc Fabregas. I love that signing, and he was great for Chelsea. So we're gonna copy that one as well. And with Fabregas in the starting 11, Look at how insane this Chelsea team has already become. Courtois has already overtaken Petr Cech as the number one goalkeeper. As Pelicueta has moved up to starting left back position, David Luiz is still here. This midfield of Fabregas, Oscar, and Kevin De Bruyne, who stayed at Chelsea in this timeline. That's insane with Hazard and Matter on the wings. Lewandowski up top. I mean, holy shit. What a starting 11. The bench looks great. The reserves look great. I forgot to mention another signing they made this season was that of Kurt Zuma. And look, I know he's prone to kick a cat or two from time to time, but not a bad pickup. I also forgot to mention another certain player that Chelsea made the signing for this season was that of Mohamed Salah from FC Basel. 76 overall, Mohamed Salah and he's just chilling in our reserves. I swear, if we don't win like eight Champions Leagues with so much talent in the reserves and already a squad this starting 11 this good. I'm gonna trade one Australian goalkeeper for another younger one in Matthew Ryan here. And I'm also gonna trade Ashley Cole here for Danilo. We kind of need another right back. The only other right back we've got right now is Ivanovic. So all right then, in comes Matthew Ryan as a backup and in comes Danilo from Porto. Ryan just the reserve at the moment, but of course we'll take over from Czech when he gets older. Take over as the backup to Courtois anyway. But God, what a team. What a team. I mean, we have got to win so much with a squad this good. And we're only two seasons in. We have surely got to do so well. Oh, somehow that team did not win the Premier League. Only 78 points is... It even feels low for how good the squad is. But yeah, United beat us to the title, so we still haven't won a Premier League yet. We won the League Cup, so that's an FA Cup and a League Cup we've won so far. And we have also made the Champions League final. We will take on Barcelona. Of course, Barcelona won the Champions League in 2015, but here we are trying to deny them. Oh, and Cesc Fabregas will be going up against his old side. Oh yeah, lads, this is going to be a spicy one. Will Leo Messi stop us or will we deny him? We're underway. Oh. Oh, terrible, and that is a penalty. I think he tried to clear it, and instead he clipped him. And it's Cesc Fabregas to try to score against his old squad. And he's done it. In off the other side of the crossbar, and Chelsea lead the Champions League final. Go on. Oh, now he's getting into it with Lionel Messi. Clearly not happy. Down for De Bruyne. De Bruyne. Oh, what a screamer. Go, oh, what a brilliant hit that is. Aren't Chelsea glad they kept on a Kevin De Bruyne in this timeline? What a hit. Oh, dropped in Lewandowski. Why not? Oh, ho, ho. God, Sergio Busquets been embarrassed. And then you just go and top it off with a belter of a strike into the top right-hand corner, Robert Lewandowski. Ah! 
What is with all these bangers? Seriously, where are these coming from? I mean, shit on a biscuit, down by Lewandowski, and what? That is the best of the lot. Fabregas balling out against his old team. Chelsea do win the Champions League. That is Leo Messi's first ever loss in a Champions League final. Chelsea's second ever Champions League title and the first Champions League of our rebuild. We've got a sick team, a ridiculously good team, and it has won its first Champions League. Expect so many more, I'm telling you. Well, that'll do it then, I suppose, for FIFA 15. On now to FIFA 16. This season, like always, Chelsea let go of a ton of players, including Ramirez. Petr Cech went to Arsenal. And yes, I have had a haircut and a quick pit stop in clothing. They loaned in Radamel Falcao and Alexandra Pato. And probably not going to go for any of those players, but I will pick up their most expensive signing this season, and that was Pedro from Barcelona. Off the back of winning a Champions League last season, the team just gets bigger and better. Unreal stuff. We've got Danilo now, the new right back over Ivanovic. He's now higher rated. A midfield of Fabregas, Kevin De Bruyne, Oscar unbelievable. The prime Ed in Hazard. Actually, to be fair, this season he had a bit of a stinker, the season that Leicester won the league. The reserves are still absolutely brilliant, full of young players that are going to go insane, and Mo Salah who's already up to an 80, and yet still can't even get on the bench. I think Juan Mata's spot is in big danger, maybe. Maybe not next season, but the season after, definitely. I'm going to make some moves more for the reserves than the starting 11 this season. We've got Jonathan Tarr, who I might make a move on. Sergei Malikovic Savage. I think I'm going to swap him for maybe an aging Ramirez. And there's also this fella, 70 rated Leroy Sane. It only costs 2.5 million in cash, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make Schalke think they're getting the deal of a lifetime. 80 rated 24 year old Andre Schurler will be going to Schalke and we get Leroy Sane. You know what? I'm okay with that. That's one of those ones that'll hopefully pay off. Ah, oh, for crying out loud. Sergei Milinkovic Savage is on loan, so I can't go for him. And Jonathan Tarr just uh, joined Leverkusen, so I can't get him. I always get done by that. I have sold an older Branislav Ivanovic, so he is now out. He wasn't really our starting right back now anyway. And Leroy Sane has also accepted his contract, so that is him in. Welcome on into the club then, Leroy Sane. Good to have you. I've got an older Samuel Eto as well, who's only dropping off in overall. I wonder if I can find a replacement for him or sell him. The offer's keep coming in for Oscar and look I'm telling you I am going to keep Oscar at Chelsea I reckon almost this whole rebuild even now in like FC 24 he's, he's almost still an 80 rating he will still be of good use to us the whole rebuild oh my god guys do you remember when Juventus was interested in Alba every fucking season that is hilarious that is a throwback I've got a bit of an idea I might look for lone players and see if there's anyone that pops up that I'm familiar with oh yeah uh, Andre Silva seems like a familiar face I mean I could maybe swap him for Eto. Oh, this isn't too bad of a one either. Ivan Tony. It might take quite a while for that transfer to pay off, but that's another option. Oh, for Christ's sake. I am constantly getting done by this player just joining thing. Ah, oh, look, in deadline day, in that case, let's just go for Andre Silva. They've accepted it. Goodbye, Samueletto. Hello, Andre Silva. We are bringing him in. Chelsea won absolutely zilch this season. They finished 10th in the Premier League, which was crazy back then. Who'd have thought they'd have a worse season a little later down the track? Can we finally get our first Premier League of this rebuild here? Bloody hell, what is going on with Manchester United in this rebuild? They've now won three in a row in the Premier League. We can only secure what, third place? We only lost five games all season, but we just couldn't convert draws into wins. We pick up another Capital One Cup, yay. So another League Cup, probably the least you know, meaningful thing we can pick up. Another trophy added to the total, that's four so far. Now we move to 17. In this 16-17 season, Chelsea let go of Mohamed Salah for just 15 million pounds to AS Roma. Wow, that bit them in the ass. They also sold Oscar off to China for 60 million pounds. Really secured the bag on that one, and so too did Oscar. But again, like I've stated, he is not going anywhere right now, okay? He's not leaving this Chelsea club. And again, he's probably going to stay an 80-plus rated player for this whole rebuild majority, majority of the time. They signed Marcos Alonso, Michi Batshuayi, and David Luiz, again, this time back from PSG, but we've just saved the hassle and kept him the whole time. They also, from Leicester City, brought in N'Golo Conte, and you bet your bottom dollar I'm going to bring 
throwing him in as well. He's still only an 81 rating. We know that he shoots up in overall and obviously will one day make his way into the starting 11. This team is so strong. The only weakness you can maybe really see now is at right back with Danilo. So I am going to sign a right back. It's not going to be a starting 11 right back but someone that I think may be a starting 11 right back in the future. This 17-year-old from Liverpool by the name of Trent Alexander-Arnold. It says he's a right midfielder. I personally can see a right back there. I also see him maybe in centre mid. I just generally see a really good player there. You know, he's, he's in the last year of his contract. He's loan listed. Clearly, Liverpool don't rate him, and he's not going to achieve anything at that club. God, look at this. Liverpool hate him that much that they're willing to let him <laughs> They're willing to let him go for less than a million. Imagine we can get Trent Alexander-Arnold for like £800,000. Oh, wait, no. Liverpool are actually quite business savvy, you know. that I need to pay a whole £1.4 for Trent. Oh, gee, I mean, twist my arm, Liverpool, but all right, fine, sweet, sure. God, you, you fleeced me there. I've been done mega dirty. Uh, Marco Van Ginkel, I can probably free up some space in the team. We don't need him. Trent accepts his contract so lovely we bring in a right mid that will soon become a right back that will soon become a player we could play in center mid that will soon become a high 80 rated player welcome to chelsea trent alexander arnold gosh when a certain reese james comes up through the youth academy that's going to be one hell of a battle for that spot you know oscar technically is a cam playing in a center midfield position so i think i might make one other signing this is a player i think i can very confidently say i've almost never signed in career mode Marek Hamsik. I'm going to see if I can poach him of Napoli. Seems like he never left there. Mid to high 30s. I mean, I'll just pay the thing and I'll just go for the 40 million flat. Let's just get it done. And so that is the signing of Hamsik into Chelsea as well, replacing him with Oscar. And look, he'll probably hold on to that centre midfield spot for maybe a season or two. And then I think Ingolo Conte is going to come knocking. But then again, there's also Cesc Fabregas that might drop off. Dude, we're so stacked. We're so stacked. All of these incredible players and we still haven't won a Premier League yet in this rebuild. Chelsea did win the Premier League this season in real life, so can we match that? Oh, at last, at long last, we have that Premier League title. And by a clear margin, Manchester United nearly did it again, bloody finishing second this time, so cop that. Of course, we end up winning another bloody League Cup as well. We are EFL Cup fiends at the moment. We're up to three, and we're on for a treble, just not the treble. We have got a Champions League final once again to play. We're on for our second in this rebuild. But first off, let's lift up that Premier League title since it is the first one we finally bagged in the rebuild. Ah, oh, brilliantly won back there, Willian. Come on, we got some options here. Can maybe find De Bruyne back. Stick! Bangs it in! 1-0. Keeping this ginger man, this Belgian Kevin De Bruyne, is the smartest thing and the most obvious thing we were going to do in this rebuild. There you go. Future Chelsea captain as soon as uh, Terry leaves, in my opinion, I reckon. Another big gap here. It's going to be too easy. Surely Lewandowski bangs it in the top corner. Ain't this man another brilliant addition to the Blues as well. 24 goals in the Premier League. We were cooking this season. There we have it then. That's the Premier League all wrapped up and in some good style. For how good the team was, we kind of took our time with getting that first Premier League title, but it's secured. Finally, Captain John Terry. This is actually his last season with the club in real life. He wins the Premier League. I think there's still one more season we have left with Terry before he retires fully. So good thing we got this one done just in time. But of course, we're not done this season yet. We have the Champions League final against Bayern Munich. Can we win trophy number three this season and our second UCL? Bayern v Chelsea, of course, this Champions League final. Last time it went down, went in Chelsea's favor. And I don't know what it is about FIFA 17 and Champions League finals. Why are they always played in the day? Go on then, people. Let's get this generational Chelsea team another Champions League. Off and underway once again. Oh my God, that could be a, that could be a problem. Yep, yeah, it is. My luck runs out. We go right through the back of, uh, what was that? Thomas Muller with Hamsick and he's sent off. I'm making a tactical change. Willian's coming off. Mohamed Salah's coming on. Let's see if this one will pan out. A little bit symbolic, that substitution, because Salah's definitely taking over from Willian at right wing soon. 
Oh, look at the left. We're so open here. Come on, let's go. Send him away. Eddie Hazard, will he get all the way in here? Skips the oh, beautiful slide tackle, jumping over it. And it's a lovely finish into the top corner at last. That is a silky beaut of an Eddie Hazard goal. That is an Eddie Hazard goal. Look, the slide tackle from Shabby Alonso just leaps over him. And a brilliant finish in that top right-hand corner. That is such an Eddie Hazard goal. That is beautiful to watch. Oh, we're looking to kill him off here. We're looking to finish it off here. This could be it. It's Quinn has come a long way up. Can Aspilicueta get a goal? No, it's stopped by Neuer. It's going to be Lewandowski. He finishes it off. That is going to do it. They come from everywhere. That's a second Champions League. What a season. What a team we've put together. And a second Champions League already. Go on then, Mr. Terry, in full kit, except this time he actually competed. So he's earned this one. Lovely result for this Chelsea squad. I think that will hopefully not be the only Champions Champions League we win in this rebuild. We still got so much more to do. Let's keep it moving then people. FIFA 18. Oh, no. This season saw departures at Chelsea like Diego Costa and Emmanuel Matic, both you know, two players that we never actually brought in. Nathan Ake left, and of course, John Terry left. He ended up going to Aston Villa. But we've still got him around. He's 78 rated and obviously not good enough now to get in our back line. In fact, he's just skipped the bench. He's gone straight to reserves, but we'll see him out in one last year at Chelsea. They brought in Olivier Giroud, Ross Barkley, uh, Bakayoko, Alvaro Morata, actually. But a player that they did sign was Antonio Rudiger from Roma. And I think I will pick up Rudiger as well. In fact, I'm actually going to play him at right back because he is a center back slash right back. And, you know, he'd actually be the highest rated player for that position. Had a couple players come up from the youth academy this season as well, like Tammy Abraham, 73 overall, and Fukayo Tomori. Whoa, that is someone I'm hanging on to right there. Just for some of the names that we have in the reserves alone that can't get a game. But players like, say, I don't know, Solanke and, and uh, like Izzy Brown, I, I can just find better players for. Like, I'm going to trade Dominic Solanke for uh, this um, Korean guy. Let's get out Solanke and I'm going to swap him with Huang Hee Chan. Because, yes, that is his name, Pep Guardiola. So out with Solanke, in with Huang Hee Chan. And look, we're good. We're so good for strikers. Backup wise, Lukaku is on the bench and yet still even he, I don't think, will ever top Lewandowski. Chelsea this season came fifth in the Premier League. They did win an FA Cup. What can we do? It's a third place finish again. This uh, Sadly, we just lose the title. I say just, seven points. That's quite a big margin. We are just obsessed with the Carabao Cup. We beat Spurs in it. League Cup number four. And sadly, we lost on penalties in the Champions League in the quarterfinals to Juve. So that's it. Just a League Cup. We get our eighth trophy of the rebuild, but I swear we can't be putting together a team this goated to only win League Cups. Let's keep it on moving to FIFA 19. So this season saw Chelsea lose players like Thibaut Courtois going to Real Madrid and Cesar Fabregas. They brought in Christian Pulisic, Jorginho. They loaned in Higuain. Don't really need any of those players, but I will go for what was at the time the most expensive goalkeeper signing ever. Might still be. It's Kepa Riza Balaga. We, of course, held on to Courtois, who they let go of this season. And Kepa is, despite being the most expensive goalkeeper in history, the backup. With Petr Cech not here, Matty Ryan, the backup or reserve. And then you've got the substitute keeper, Courtois. That's good. Salah shooting up to an 89. Lewandowski, De Bruyne, Edin Hazard. It's ridiculous, the midfield and attack. However, the back line doesn't necessarily stand out, minus the captain, uh, Aspilicueta. Uh, so we might do something about that. We, of course, had uh, Callum hudson Odoi come up. We, of course, have got Tammy Abraham, Billy Gilmore, Mark Gay is in here too. Some awesome plays that have come up, but I would like to get a little bit more depth or should I say quality in my back line and I might go for Marquinhos here. So accepting a contract for him, he comes to Chelsea and we're going to pair up a an old PSG centre back, both Brazilians, David Luiz and Marquinhos. We have won eight trophies so far in this rebuild. It's not been bad at all. Can we add to that this season? Still stuck on one Premier League title. Chelsea comes second in it. We lost an FA Cup final as well. So Goddamn Liverpool. Beat us to two trophies. Inter and Juventus is the Champions League final. Shame. What a bottle of a season that is. All right. Well, FIFA 20. This season saw a huge departure for Chelsea. Edin Hazard left to go to Real Madrid for big, big money. 
but 91 rated still for Edin Hazard in FIFA 20. And I am not letting this boy go for the entire rebuild. He's staying. Chelsea also signed from Real Madrid, Mateo Kovacic, but I don't think I'll go for him because we've already got one or two players coming up. Loftus Cheek still doing decently in terms of overall going up, and Mason Mount, of course, has come up as well now. Alexander Arnold has now become the highest rated right back as well, so that's crazy to think about because on top of Cesar Azpilicueta, we've also had, where is he, where is he, where is he? Reese James come up as well. Good God, man. Well, what else do we do? Starting 11-wise, team is sick. Could maybe go for a new center mid with Hamshik starting to drop off and getting older. I'm going to sign a different center midfielder from Real Madrid, but not going to be Kovacic. It's going to be Federico Valverde. Again, only 82 rated, but I can't help but feel like he'll definitely become an improvement eventually. So for now, on he goes to the bench. We've also got Hamshik on the bench because I've also realized Oscar is 84 overall, can play center midfield, and why not? It is 2020, and yet Oscar is still killing it for Chelsea. We've let go of a couple of players too, like Pedro and Willian. Just got to clear some space. We've got like 4, 8, 12, 16, 21 players in our reserves. Billy Gilmore, maybe a player that will obviously get better than this, but good enough to play for Chelsea starting 11. Don't think so. So he's gone. Barcelona won Conte. Um, no way. And with an hour left to go in deadline day, I think we've done about all we can. It was fairly disappointing, you know, to not win anything when we we could have won at least or at, at best three trophies last season. Is it at all turned around this season? Can we finally get something? Oh my God, that is, <laughs> that is brutal. You thought last season was bad. Imagine being undefeated and a Centurion, 31 wins, seven draws, no losses, and you lose the Premier League title. That is, without a shadow of a doubt, probably the toughest beat I have ever seen. But the good news is we have a Champions League final. Look who it's against. God damn it. We need to win this. Otherwise, Liverpool are in this ridiculous, like, unstoppable era. We've got Alexander-Arnold and Mo Salah taken off of them. How the hell are they still this good? We are going for Champions League title number three. We were able to get that man Lampard another Champions League title before he retired. Now post Lampard. Post Lampard, post Terry, we return to compete for another UCL title. Will we get it done this time? Fair play, they still have Firmino, they still have Mane, but... Bloody, is that Lucas Vasquez that they've replaced Salah with? How on earth have they done that then? Let's see if Captain Kevin De Bruyne, another player Chelsea refused to hold on to, can become a Champions League winning captain too. Lewandowski kicks it off. Bro, what a team we put together. It's got to get it done. Oh, no! Whoa! Oh my God, it's hit the woodwork. What the hell happened there? It looked like a simple claim. Oh, he's through. Hazard is through. And Lewandowski, yes! So nicely worked between those two and we lead. Simple enough header from Lewandowski. What a pickup he has been. I'll take it, I'll take it. Not too bad a first half. Oh no, clearance, get it out of here. We're not getting rid, it's gonna head wide. Oh, beautifully won back from De Bruyne. That'll pretty well seal it. Kevin De Bruyne with a curling effort, no good, but it's done. And we secure a third Champions League in what? Feels like seven years? Mo Salah and Trent Alexander-Arnold beat their old sides. Liverpool may have gotten over us a couple of times in the last season or two, but we get over them in the biggest game in European football. European title number three. Hell yeah, man. We sold off a few more players. Huang Hee Chan, Juan Mata, Billy Gilmore, Cesc Fabregas is going. We'll be chasing trophy number 10 in FIFA 21. Sometimes I... In this season, Chelsea saw the departures of Alvaro Morata, Pasalic as well. Pedro and Willian left, but they signed a bunch of big players as well, like Ed Mendy, for example, Hakim Ziyech, Ben Chilwell, and Timo Werner. I'm going to say no to all of those signings, but I will go for Thiago Silva, and I will go for Kai Havertz. Kai Havertz actually has a role to play in midfield with his current rating with Conte and De Bruyne, you know, just moving down to left center mid. Thiago Silva will become the highest rated center back alongside Marquinhos. So again, this team looks once again amazing. I think we all remember what Chelsea did this season. They won the Champions League. Can we win it again this season and go back to back 
for our fourth UCL of the rebuild. Get in there, finally, another Premier League title. We Only the second one of the rebuild despite all these Champions Leagues and all these other cups. Cop that Liverpool, but no FA Cup, and we do get another league. That's five League Cups now as well. Unbelievable, dog. But anyway, we have got 11 trophies, three more seasons to go, off to FIFA 22. Chelsea let go of this season. Tammy Abraham, Kurt Zuma, Fikayo Tomori. All moves they probably regret. Probably some more than others. They also brought back Romelu Lukaku for a hundred plus million but we never let him go. He's been with us from pretty much the start of this bad boy. It's just that He's never, he's never been able to get a game. Looking at our attack, by the way, you'll notice Leroy Sane is at the left wing position and not Hazard. Hazard has dropped off in overall. He's down to an 84 and he has now lost his starting 11 privileges. It's not just him too. Uh, Thiago Silva's lost his starting 11 spot now. Rudy Gare is the better option. And I am okay with persisting with uh, Kai Havertz in my midfield for now because I've got one, maybe even two midfielders that I know are going to be high 80s at least next year. That being said, there are some players I will let go of and sell this season like Marek Hamsik. He's, he's just not really got a spot in the team anymore. Same goes with Danilo. Could probably free up space there. We've got too many right backs and Levi Colwill. He's, you know, he'll probably be all right in like his career but he will not get a game at Chelsea in two seasons I mean look man we, we've already done so well and done so much in this rebuild I'd like to think hopefully that team is good enough to compete can we match what we did in the Real Madrid 10-year rebuild and actually win five champions no we won six champions leagues that's the record we have got another Premier League title come on we're starting to pile them together Liverpool and ourselves have been one and two for God knows how many seasons in a row now. No FA Cup, no League Cup, and obviously no Champions League this season, but we get another Prem. Well, we're not getting six Champions Leagues anymore. We've really only got three Prems, three Champions Leagues. Is that enough for the crazy team we've built? I, I don't know. It's pretty good. Off to the penultimate season, FIFA 23. So what happened this season in terms of transfers for Chelsea? Um, I think a better question would be, what didn't happen? They sold Timo Werner, Emerson, Jorginho, Billy Gilmore, Michi Batshuayi. Rudy Gare left on a free to Real Madrid, as well as Andreas Christensen. Two players we're still hanging on to. One's in the starting 11. And, oh, strap in for the signings. They signed Mikalo Mudrik. They signed Fofana. They signed Cucurella. They signed... Badia Shile, they signed Madueke. They spent like half a billion and the most expensive signing was Enzo Fernandez. I will get him and I will also get Raheem Sterling that they picked up at the start of the season. And also Kula Bali as well. Although to be fair, we don't really need him uh, we don't really need any more center backs, but we'll get him anyway. I think in my entire reserves as well, it's pretty confident to say there's only three players below an 80 rating. Oh my God. The starting 11 has really changed quite a fair bit in the last couple of seasons, but the quality remains the same. I don't think I need to make any more signings myself in this rebuild. I'll just pick and choose who I like or who I want to keep from their signings in real life. Because as we all know, Chelsea in the last two years just went crazy, spending like a billion. Let's just hope the billion that they spend in real life translates in this rebuild to some silverware. It is not enough for a Premier League title. Again, second place. We're either one or two and that's it these days. Liverpool finally dropping off as well. Make that six League Cup titles. We are Carabao Cup fiends. We may be League Cup merchants, but you know what else we're slowly becoming? Possibly Champions League merchants as well. We've got PSG to face in a final. Going for number four, man. This would be nuts. This is what everyone ex actually expected from that PSG team, didn't they? Can we keep it going? Can we continue our ridiculous stellar form in the Champions League? Oh, Mo Salah been taken out big time. Yellow card early. Oh, what a read from Alexander-Arnold. Oh, look at what it has created. But it can't be finished off. Two, former. Ah, come on. Liverpool man going to link up. It might be Kevin De Bruyne. Alexander-Arnold and Mo Salah just bolting from the corner. But De Bruyne was trailing. He's just able to get ahead of his man there, Kevin De Bruyne. Rate the pace, mate. Love that pass. And off to the left. 
Raheem Sterling is in. Raheem Sterling, it's too simple on the ding. They just ran out of numbers to defend our ruthless counter-attacks. Would you like some salt with those chips, Gian Luigi Donnarumma? I know, deflection, a mean deflection into Neymar. And the game is suddenly back on. How much of bloody good fortune is that for PSG to re-enter this contest? Oh no, oh no, they've got the pace. It's Mbappe saved by Courtois right at the end of the game. Right at the end of the game. Courtois, I didn't even know we were that late. Thibaut Courtois has come up with the match-winning save, and we go to our fourth UCL title. Kevin De Bruyne, who they let go of, he has stayed in it in this one, and now he's going to be a two-time Champions League or cap winning captain, lifting it up for a second time, a fourth UCL trophy in this rebuild and with one more season to go. A Carabao Cup and a Champions League one in the second to last season. On we move to the last season, FC 24. And for one final season, here are all of Chelsea's signings and transfers again. They sold Kai Havertz, they sold Mason Mount, they sold Kovacic, they sold Koulibaly, they sold Pulisic, they got rid of Ed Mendy, they got rid of Ruben Loftus-Cheek, as well as Ethan Empadu, Cesar Azpilicueta, Ingolo Conte left on a free, but we still have him as well. And they brought in for like 100 million Caicedo, Lavia, they brought in Pan they brought in Nicholas Jackson. Honestly, I'm avoiding every player they signed this season except for one, and that will be Christopher Nkunku. I think he will slot in nicely in like this center attacking mid center forward position, just in behind Lewandowski, who has locked down that striker spot this whole time. Our left side, you know, the left wing position has been an in and out area. Sterling, yes, no, now Sane, no. I will make one last signing myself and not choosing what ones I go for in real life. We're going to try to sign Vinny Jr. If I can't go for him, if he's too expensive, I've got Hyung Ming Son as a backup. We have 165 million in finances, so with that sort of budget, is Vinicius Jr. possible? They bump it up to 172, which I don't think is affordable. Nah, it's just not going to happen. They're not interested. We just don't have the money. Ah, well, it would have been good, but it's just too much, unfortunately. Let's settle for Hyung Ming Son. Hyung Ming Son joins Chelsea, and he comes in for like literally less than half the price of Vinicius Jr. Not bad for someone that's like literally two overall less. That's it. So he slots in at left wing. Hyung Ming Son joins Chelsea with Salah and Kuku Lewandowski. Kevin De Bruyne, who never left, as well as a host of others like Courtois, who never left. And wow, what a Chelsea side. It's been able to win four Champions Leagues, about 13, 14 trophies in total now. What can this Chelsea team bag in the final season? We are three points off of another Premier League title to finish it. Shame. We also somehow go down in the League Cup, the, the tournament for us. We have lost our League Cup merchant title, our reign, it's over, but we can keep it going in the Champions League. Run it back, it's PSG again. Five Champions Leagues is on the cards here for this Chelsea team. But let's get it then, people. Taking down, hopefully, Mbappe one last time and securing one last title. Got a minor kick clash going on here, but we're kicked off and underway. It's on. De Bruyne, it's there. It's Donnarumma saving it, though. Come on. Oh, come on. Get it up to him. He's not quite as pacey as he once was. But Robert Lewandowski. No, Donnarumma. Oh, Neymar, what are you still doing on this team, bruv? Come on, no. Slide tackle. It's a good save by Courtois. And a tough first half. An even first half. No goal yet. Oh, who's marking him? Oh, Courtois. He's absolutely doing a job on Mbappe. Oh, no. He's in once again here. This time the ding. Oh my god, he's missed it by a mile. Killing it. Bappe having a stinker in the Champions League final. Oh my god, we've won the ball back. How much time do we have? Oh, surely a big counter-attack on. Look at this! No one is back! PSG! Surely Hyung Ming! Son has won it at the end for Chelsea! What has happened there? Hyung Ming Son, he rocks up at the last second 
and wins Chelsea its last title of the rebuild and it's only the Champions League. He is the one that gets it done. That has got to do it, surely. Referee, you've just got to blow your whistle, mate. It's got to be done with and it is. An Mbappe disaster class in terms of finishing helps us secure trophy number 15. A fifth Champions League title in this rebuild. Wow. That is something. And when you look at some of the players that we did it with, it is wild. But for one final time in this rebuild, Champions of Europe, Chelsea Football Club, we finish with 15 trophies in total. If you've enjoyed this one, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you for the next 10-year rebuild soon. And if you enjoyed that video, be sure to click this video if you would like some more.